Good morning, viewers. Rob Atfield reporting for Port Carling Boats. It's Saturday, November the 9th, 2019, and we're here about to look at the Armada, if I may use the term. Met perhaps a little incorrectly, but uh, we're at the cottage uh, boathouse of Ian Dixon, um, a lake, uh, pardon me, a Muskoka cottager. Ian has had a fascination with Dispros, obviously. He's been a member of the Dispro Owners Association for some 15 years. And he has a total of five, count them, one, two, three, four, five, disappearing propeller boats. We're looking at three of them here, with one in the up close to the rafters. I'm going to ask Ian if he wouldn't mind sharing a bit of information about his boats and his love of dispros. <laughs> Ian. We have, uh, we have three boats here. One, um, we'll start with the, uh, with the oldest, is a is a boat that was produced in uh, Port Carlin. Her name is Gertrude. She spent her time up around Bala Bay, named after the uh, original owner and his, his wife and his daughter were both named Gertrude. Um, and this was our first boat we bought. Uh, we, we bought uh, and she's uh, powered by the single cylinder uh, copper jacket engine, I believe. That is correct. Made I'll show them in the next boat okay. because this is a little hard to get at sure. uh, in the berthing spot. This next boat is Pudding. Pudding um, spent her time um, uh, down in Pudding Bay, and that's where we think her, we got her, she got her name. And um, Pudding, sorry to interrupt, Pudding Bay is? Uh, down in Ohio. Ohio. Um, right. Think of Long Point uh, and keep going down. Um, the uh, uh, this has a little uh, uh, E engine in it, which is a little co uh, copper jacket engine, as they're referred to. They're powered by a, a buzz coil, similar to a well, exactly the same as it was used in a model uh, a model T. Um, quite uh, easy to start. Uh, it sort of there's a pull cord similar to a lawnmower in the front dashboard. You sit and you give it a pull uh, after you adjust the uh, carburetor, um, and uh, a little uh, the engine runs. Uh, uh, it's just a nice little running engine. The uh, they're quite quiet, I believe. These copper jackets yeah, are they not? Yeah, they're fairly quiet. They uh, just go pop, pop, pop along. They're quite uh, quite uh, quite a nice engine. The next boat we have here is a. Uh, Lindsay Sport Special, made in Lindsay, Ontario. Um, these were all custom made. Um, in the 1920s, I think you yeah, said. This late, late 26. This is uh, 23, 24, and 26. Okay. This engine, uh, in, in this boat, the engine is a, um, it's a Karen engine, and it's a little single cylinder. Both of these, so far everyone we've looked at has been a single cylinder. Um, and... Uh, Buzz coil, pull start. Um, this this boat's a little longer than these traditional boats. It's about another foot longer. Uh, it's a heavier boat, usually another plank in it. Right. Uh, so these run about 600 plus pounds, and these are 400 plus pounds. Okay. So both easily, both styles easy, easily trailerable though. Yeah. Great yeah, absolutely. advantage. Absolutely easy. To and they all have the special mechanism, Ian, I presume, that the disappearing prop, so that right you can there, pull we the. Can maybe look at it right here on the. Right here, there's one out of a boat. This is our. Well, we let me just separate this out a little bit here. Over here, and move this to the side. Without getting off. So there's there's the there's the key to these boats. It's a it's a device, and they're into all the boats. They have a skeg at the bottom here, right? And if a deadhead or a, uh, you hit a rock or you come across a rock, the rock comes under here, pushes the boat with the engine with the with the propeller still running right up into the housing. The right. housing's called the device, and, uh, uh, and that's the real key to these, and that's why they did so well in Muskoka. Right. They also have the ability if you're um, if you get weeds or anything in, in your propeller, you simply pull this lever up and open up this little aquascope and you can put your hand down here, of course while it's not running, and pull the <laughs> weeds out and just simply snap that in, snap that up, yeah. and drop and you're and, off to the races off. again. Yeah, very clever and the, the fact that there's glass on the top so you can see the weeds is a huge help too, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, as you can see, viewers, uh, these boats are beautifully, all of them are beautifully uh, maintained. 
lots and lots of coats of uh, varnish on them. They're all in flawless condition. Anyway, Ian, hats off to you and your and your wife Barb for being such uh, prolific and involved members of the Dispro Association. And uh, viewers, if anybody's interested, uh, the Dispro Owners Association does have a website. Um, do you do you remember www. what? www. Uh, dippyboats.ca www.dippyboats.ca Dippy D-I-P-P-Y I, -P -P -Y, I presume. Correct. There you have it viewers. Over and out.